Welcome to the boot of my car. a suitcase around. I know a lot of occupational therapists and speech therapists who are mobile carry a suitcase and carry drag that along everywhere, which is really practical and ergonomic. However, I tried that and it I just didn't like it for some reason. It felt clunky. I had to keep unzipping it each time and unpacking and swapping the material depending on which child I was working with and what tools and resources I needed. So what I currently do and what I've done for eight years now is literally just pack a bag so I have all my resources in tubs in the back and I'll show you and I literally just pick and choose what I need for that session I pop it in the bag and then I take it and then I try to put them back in their tubs at the end of the session Where they start the letter and then where they finish the letter and they can roll out the play-doh so they roll it out with their hands and then they um, place it on here and then they trace it five times two three four five and then I get them to do it with their eyes closed So what I'll do with the tambourine, a lot of times I'll just make up songs on the spot or if I know they love a song, I'll grab out the tambourine and it gives that beat, it gives that rhythm and it gives us something to move to. It's a great way to move our bodies. So um, one of the songs that I've been doing with one of the kids that I've been working with is I run and run and run and run and run and then I stop. I run and run and run and run and run and then I stop. I run and run and run and run and run and then I stop. I run and run and run and run and run and then I stop. This was a great one that I use for telehealth as well. So when I was working with kids, um, you know, you could pick out let's say for example this one and it says find something with yellow on it or find something that is furry so you know the kids would run around the house and try and find it and there's this little magnifying glass so it became a real play like it's play everything with the kids has got to be play it's got to be fun it's got to be engaging it's got to be interesting to them so they could run around and find the things um, and then there are more specific things like <laughs> find a dirty piece of clothing. That one could be interesting. Helping a child to learn about their body and what's going on inside their body when they feel stressed, when they feel anxious, when they feel um, frustrated or, or just not calm in their body.
down the hill. So the therapy ball I use for a lot of different kids in a lot of different ways. So it can be used as vestibular input. So a lot of bouncing on the ball. It can be used for core, core strength, core stability. So rolling over the ball and getting them to do a puzzle. Um, and then rolling back, getting a puzzle piece and then rolling forward onto on the ball and putting the puzzle piece back into the puzzle. I can use it as the steamroller. So um, as a means of proprioceptive input. So getting the child to lie down on their tummy and rolling the ball over their back and over their body to give them that um, deep pressure input. Um, and this is great if you play some relaxation music because kids love it. They can just relax. It can be done at the start or the end of a session or in the middle, wherever you find most meaningful and most valuable for the child. I just want to make a note too that I have a lot of resources in the back of my car, but I use so much more than just my resources. I use myself as a tool. My body is my greatest tool. So I was just in a session before and I used my body to to provide vestibular input and proprioceptive input to a child who was seeking it. So we've got to feed the need. And I didn't bring it like my ball. I didn't bring some of those um, pieces of equipment with me to do that. And they didn't have a trampoline. They don't have a swing. So I literally picked up the child. She's three years old. And I swung her from side to side in a rhythmic fashion, back and forth, back and forth. And she loved it. It was very regulating for her nervous system. And so I can use my body as a tool. My body is the greatest tool. And the way that I show up and build that therapeutic connection, that therapeutic relationship is foundational. So my empathy, my ability to see life through their lens, my ability to pause, my ability to not give direct eye contact to a child I know that um, cannot tolerate it. It's painful to them. So these are the skills that we have. These are the innate skills that we have that you can't see, that you can't touch, that you um, can't hold. They're, they're not tools I put in the back of my car. They're tools that are in me. And they come from this place within. So never forget that. You don't need all the bells and whistles. You don't need all this. I didn't start with all this. I started with a few little um, games and activities in my car that I, I borrowed from my kids. So you can start small and know that you are the greatest tool.